Gerald Lucas here with another installment of Ask Gerald, where you get your real estate questions answered. Today's question comes from Shane. Shane writes from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Shane writes, Gerald, some people say Section 8 is great for landlords and others say it's a disaster. Should I rent to Section 8 tenants? Well, that's a great question, Shane. You know, although I don't believe that the Fair Housing Act um, protects uh, tenants from uh, discrimination based on their source of income, um, more and more places around the U.S. are in fact um, protecting tenants um, and their local fair housing laws. But legally or not, I don't think it's really smart business to disqualify a potential tenant based on their source of income. I mean, there's good and bad tenants within every group or pool. And sort of generalizing about Section 8 tenants or, or anyone else is, you know, it's not really smart because you're going to end up disqualifying some potential tenants that are good. Um, and the key is um, to have a well thought through and repeatable screening process so that you screen your tenants. It's more about the screening process as opposed to the group that you pick from because again within every group there's going to be good tenants and bad tenants. Most importantly you want to make certain that you screen effectively. Um, and Section 8 is basically almost guaranteed income for a landlord um, and it you know protects landlords from risks that, that other landlords don't, landlords don't have um, or they have to deal with, like for example, a job loss, right? It's basically guaranteed income. If you, if you have a regular tenant and you lose their job, they're going to have a harder time paying you rent. Section 8 is pretty much almost guaranteed income. So I would say that regardless of whether you choose a Section 8 tenant or a non-Section 8 tenant, the most important thing is that you've got a solid, repeatable screening process so that you can identify the best tenant prospects, and eliminate bad ones. So thanks for your question, Shane. For more real estate information and tips, visit my blog at GeraldLucas.com. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you again soon.